showers and storms just north of the area. None of this is severe, but there are pockets of heavy rain and some lightning within these cells. They're drifting slowly southward and there's a few trends on these I want to point out. First things first, again, the movement in general is going to be to the south. They're not moving very quickly. We've got a pair of storms converging on Ostwell right there just to the west of San Antonio Bay, so heavy rain expected there. Refugio, you're surrounded by the activity and we've got another storm just to the north of Sinton moving over Highway 181. The trend I want to point out, watch this stuff near Mathis. You'll see it pop up and then fizzle out. That's called a pulse thunderstorm without a lot of movement on these. You'll get an updraft, which then gives you the shower and storm production without the movement the storm collapses on itself. So we'll see if that trend continues for the ongoing storms that are dotting the radar. Uh, and if they can continue, they may drift as far south as about the Highway 44 corridor uh, over the next several hours. So we'll keep our eyes on that for the time being. If you watched us yesterday, we're saying these might be sparked by something called outflow by storms from the north. And you can see that that's the outflow drifting into the coastal bend and helping these storms uh, get going. And that outflow came from this complex of activity up near the I-20 corridor. So we'll have some isolated stuff drifting around mainly north of Highway 44 through about midnight. And then we'll be done with this little rain chance. A few clouds tomorrow morning, mid to low 70s. We'll top out in the mid 90s tomorrow under mainly sunny skies. We'll do a repeat of that here on Sunday. Not going to have to really worry about rain, but it will be very hot over the weekend and that trend will continue through all of next week as high pressure builds into Mexico mid 90s with heat index values in that 105 to 110 range Monday through Friday next week going to be quite hot out there. The tropics still active with a Potential tropical cyclone. This may reach tropical storm strength by the time it moves into Florida tomorrow. It's got 40 mile per hour winds. The reason it's not a storm yet is likely because the center isn't completely you know, cut off, meaning we don't have a completely wound up central area of circulation. So that is imminent. This storm uh, likely going to be Alex sometime tonight or tomorrow as it moves over Florida. It's going to be lopsided with the biggest threat being rain and then it continues off into the Atlantic. It shouldn't be a problem for the US after Florida, uh, but maybe some shipping concerns out there for uh, some Atlantic, you know, boating or anything like that going on. The big story with this is going to be the flooding rains, about a half a foot of rain uh, in South Florida over the weekend. Right now it is sunny, 91 in Corpus Christi, southeast wind near 15 miles per hour tonight. Watch out for that rain isolated to the north of here, 73 overnight. Tomorrow, hot, humid with a high of 94 southeast wind wind 6 to 16 miles per hour. If you're on the water, some afternoon chop. The morning will be pretty nice with the light southeasterly wind uh, 5 to 13 knots at the beach, mid to upper 80s. Rip current risk going to be moderate. UV index extreme winds will be manageable tomorrow. If you have any golfing plans, we got birdie on the forecast with the winds not being terribly strong out there. And one thing I noticed on the golf course today, the skeeters. There was a little more activity, had to swat some off me for the first time this season. So we've got that at medium on the Skeeter meter. And over the next seven days, mid 90s heat index values 105 to 110 for the majority of next week. Mike. All right. Thank you, Alan. Well, the